a compound assignment operator, sometimes we need to adjust the value of a variable. Imagine we're working at a bake sale and want to keep track of how many cupcakes we have by creating a variable called num cupcakes. In num cupcakes equals 12. If we baked eight more cupcakes, we know that we could update our variable using the plus operator. Okay, so instructions number one, you are also in charge of keeping track of how many cookies there are at a bake sale or at the bake sale. This value is represented by the variable number num cookies. A customer comes and buys three cookies. Use the appropriate compound assignment operator to reflect this change. Okay, so we basically just gonna reassign num cookies. If they buy if they buy three cookies, we're gonna have to deduct three every time. Let's run that. Okay, so another customer buys half of the remaining cookies. Use the appropriate compound assignment operator to reflect this change. Okay, so another customer buys half the cookies. And we can just divide it by There you go. Order of operations. If we were to place multiple operators in a single expression, what operation would the compiler evaluate first? Int num equals five multiplied by 10 minus four plus four divided by two. The order of operation dictates the order in which an expression like the one above is evaluated. Operators that share the same precedence are evaluated from left to right with, within the expression. So the order is as follows, parentheses, exponents, modular, multiplication, division, addition, and subtractions. Right, so instructions number one. Uh, take a look at the expressions in operations.java. Solve the value of each of the expressions on your own. To find out if the calculations are right, uncomment the print statements and run the curve. Right, manipulating variables greater than and less than. Now we're withdrawing money from our bank account program and we want to see if we're withdrawing less money than what we have available. Java has relational operation operators for numeric data types that makes Boolean comparisons. comparisons. So these include less than and greater than, which help us solve our withdrawal problem. Okay, so instructions number one. The expression that checks if the amount of credits you have earned, credits earned, is greater than the number of credits you need to graduate, credits to graduate. Okay, so number two, create a variable called credits after seminar that holds. Okay, so let's start first with the variable credits. C 
Seminole. That holds the amount of credits earned after taking a seminar, which is worth credit seminar credits. Credits of the seminar should be the sum of credits earned and credits of seminar. So we're going to add these two variables together. Credits earned. Credits. Seminar. We're just quickly going to print it out to the console. <clears throat> 